In this video, I'll go over how easy it is to control all the lights you're seeing here using WLED as well as highlighting some of my favorite animations and settings. Now in case you're wondering what exactly are you looking at, I'll leave links in the description for the full DIY videos I've already done on how to make the floor lamps, diffuser channels, and media console that you can check out if you're interested. So I have a total of four ESP devices in the room. One is controlling the bottom diffuser, the second is connected to the corner lamps, the third is for the media console, and the last one is for the top diffuser. Here you can see that I have all four of my controllers listed on the WLED page and named so I know which one is which. And one thing that I feel doesn't get enough attention about this program is just how snappy and responsive it is. Here you can see that as I'm turning the lights on and off individually, everything is about as instantaneous as it can get in regards to me pushing the button and the lights turning on or off. Now I can also from this screen control the brightness of the individual pieces, and again it's extremely responsive. Next I'm going to go into the bottom diffuser, but you could click on anything that you wanted and it's going to be the same. I'm going to check the sync button at the top, and this is going to allow me to have everything change at once instead of individually. This is probably one of the features I use most, and this setting carries over to everything. So let's go into one of my favorite effects, which is Android. When I select it, all the lights will now be changed to that animation simultaneously. The next thing I want to cover is how on most every effect that you choose, you'll see these sliders appear at the bottom of the screen that you can play around with to further customize what you're seeing. So on the bouncing ball effect, the top slider lets me adjust what they call gravity that will change the speed at which the balls bounce back, and the bottom one is for the number of lights that will be displayed. Another one of my favorite animations is Meteor, and on this one, the sliders at the bottom let me adjust the speed of light and the length of the trail. Moving on, I now want to show you how easy it is to create dynamic color options using the preset palettes WLED comes with. First, go to your color tab at the bottom left of the screen. Next, click on the black circle which will replace the teal color, and since we did select black, the light should turn off. Now go back to the effects tab and choose blink. And finally, back to the color section, scroll down, and choose from one of the many color palettes available. Another thing to point out is the peak button. Turning this on will give you a visual example at the top of the app to what your lights should be doing. So utilizing these color options is for sure what I use most when quickly trying to change the look and feel of the room, and you can see just how easy it is with one click to completely change the vibe. Next, I want to show you a very simple way to essentially separate an LED strip into two sections that will mirror each other. I'm first going to uncheck the sync button and at the bottom of the screen go into segments. I'm going to expand segment 0 and check the box next to mirror effect. And since I'm in the settings for the top diffuser, you'll immediately see how this changes things. And furthermore, you can choose reverse direction if you want things to be opposite of what you're seeing now. I'm now going to quickly go into the bottom diffuser and media console and make the same changes. Now that all those changes are done, I'm going to go back and turn on the sync feature, go back into effects, and again choose Android, and you can now see how things are slightly different than before. And again, I can use the sliders at the bottom to adjust the effect speed and width. And as a reminder, you can pretty much choose any effect to go along with any of the preset color patterns. Hopefully you're beginning to see not only how easy it is to change things around, but also just the sheer number of customizable ways you can animate these individually addressable LEDs using WLED. This is probably where I've had the most fun playing around with this program. So let's say I have this animation playing, but I want my media console to remain static. I'm going to go into my media console controls, make sure the sync button is not pushed, and then I can make the changes and only my media console lights will change while everything else continues as is. Now this media console presents a great opportunity to quickly go over the segments. I'm going to turn off all the lights and then go into the media console controls and then click on the segments tab at the bottom. Click the drop down and you can see it currently has the total number of LEDs for the strip. Now I've already counted things out so I'm going to change the last number to 15 which is the total number of LEDs in the first box. Once that's done make sure the box for the segment is selected, I'm then going to choose the teal color and under effects change it to solid and now only my first 15 LEDs should light up with the color that I wanted. 
Next, go back to Segments, uncheck the box next to Segment 0, and click Add. I'm going to change the stop LED for this one to 38, which should fill up the next compartment on the media console. Again, I'm going to go back to choose a color to be displayed for the second grouping of LEDs. Now you just have to do the same thing for the rest of the boxes until you have it just the way you like. And once you're done, since this did take a little bit of work to set up, you can go to the presets and add it as a favorite so with one click you can load everything up just the way you had it. So one of my favorite things to do is put on a lo-fi music YouTube channel since they always have such cool backgrounds and quickly change the colors of the lights using the methods I just covered to match what's on the screen to create a chill ambient environment to relax in while listening. Now I do realize there's software out there called Hyperion that you can set up to have this done automatically. I've already watched a couple videos on it and hope to give it a try myself in the near future. So I hope it was helpful seeing WLED in action on more of a complete setup with multiple controllers and strips. And I know there's many other things I could have covered or mentioned but for the sake of keeping this pretty high level and simple, I'll save that for another video down the road if that's something you'd like to see. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough and let me know if you have any questions at all.